In El Salvador, an American reporter was wounded and his Salvadorian interpreter killed by gunfire apparently coming from government troops in a suburb of San Salvador. Jim Cummins reports. The crackling sound of gunfire began at mid-afternoon in this slum neighborhood just outside El Salvador's capital. Government troops had swarmed over the area, searching anyone who looked suspicious. The soldiers said rebel guerrillas were firing at them from a ravine 100 yards away. Women and children would edge out of their doorways and then scurry back inside when the gunfire resumed. It was even more dangerous about a quarter mile down this open road where government troops took cover under their trucks to avoid gunfire from the surrounding hills. Several journalists had rushed in here not knowing they would be caught in the crossfire. Within minutes, George Thurlow, an American freelance reporter from Woodland, California, had been shot in the shoulder and the arm. His interpreter, Gilberto Moran, had been hit in the chest. An ambulance was called into the middle of the firefight. As it pulled up to Moran, the driver said, he's already dead. The other journalists, including NBC cameraman Manny Alvarez, scrambled for cover. The guy's dead. Get your ass over here. A third man, a Salvadoran, Joaquin Zuniga, was shot in the thigh. He's a freelance photographer working for the Associated Press. Zuniga and the American Thurlow are expected to recover from their wounds. Most witnesses say these latest victims of El Salvador's civil war were shot by government troops. Maybe the journalists were mistaken for guerrillas. Maybe not. Jim Cummins, NBC News, El Salvador.